We begin tonight with the U.S. and Iran on the brink. President Trump says the U.S. will strike back harder than ever. Well, we're at a dangerous hour in this country. Terrifying scale of Australia's bushfire disaster is beginning to emerge. Hundreds are still burning. The privilege mail is to be racist. You're being racist. Good evening. We start tonight with the latest on the virus outbreak in China. Chinese officials are advising 11 million people at the center of an outbreak of a new virus to stay where they are. A lockdown in the central city of Wuhan. The World Health Organization says the whole world needs to take action to stop the spread of the new virus. Goodbye. Please sit down, resume your seats, put your flags away, you're leaving. The most active hotspot right now is Italy. Italians are being advised simply to stay at home. In the UK, store shelves left empty as shoppers race for the last rolls of toilet paper and pasta. A sixth patient has died in the UK with the coronavirus. Do you think the UK has been slow? in terms of implementing measures. And one of the theories is that, you know, uh, perhaps you could sort of take it on the chin. 60% is the sort of figure you need to get herd, herd I mean, immunity. Uh, many more families are going to lose loved ones before their time. We're not sure we're comfortable with that. And what were we told, not just by the government, but also by Laura Koonsberg, Robert Peston, all of the media was like, the government are being led by the science. That whole period of time, there were people from the World Health Organization, the editor-in-chief of The Lancet, saying that this, this strategy is crazy. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients, and I shook hands with everybody. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus. Britain's Prime Minister has announced a nationwide lockdown to fight the coronavirus. Hello, welcome to the first edition of Tisky Sour Quarantined. Even though we can't physically be together, we can be together online, which is really nice. We've seen nothing like this in terms of the crisis that we're about to see over the next few weeks and months since the inception of the NHS, I think. Kind of main priority is the immediate community response. Loads of neighbourhood coronavirus support groups are popping up. So we're trying to leaflet as much of the city as possible. It's been amazing to see people in communities here coming together to support each other. I do think what we're seeing is a a collision between those of us who believe that human life should be prioritised over economic interests and those private economic interests who bankroll. The Conservative Party. We are going to be looking at a huge amount of austerity and a way in which capital is going to re engineer a way to keep extracting value. And we've got to be ready for that. We need to stick to what we're good at, which is namely protecting those most vulnerable in society and make sure that those who are most vulnerable don't pay the price of this epidemic. When those workers come along and say, we need to get paid properly for what we do, people need to remember this moment. George Floyd, whose death at the hands of white police has sparked fury across America. The murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis was the straw that broke the camel's back. 2020 is the year we fight back. It really feels like the hand of history is on us here. Black lives have always mattered, and now is the time! I am waiting! It should be absolutely no surprise that the first person convicted under the Coronavirus Act was a black woman and she was wrongly convicted and what we need to continue to do is talk about all of those people who have been left out by the state for years and years and years. It's not a great leveller, it's magnifying existing patterns of discrimination and power imbalances in society. It's just heartbreaking seeing my friends upset because they haven't got in because of previous results or to do with where you live or what school you go to. It just shouldn't determine how you can do. Day level and GCSE results will now be based on teacher assessments rather than grades generated by computer modelling. Look at us, we're in 2020 and this is what we're doing. We're having to walk and to march. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! The pandemic has shown who it is that we need to function as a society. It is the nurses, it is the porters, it is the bus drivers, it is the army of millions of essential low-paid workers. If we can manage to beat the COVID pandemic at its worst, we can manage to fight for a pay rise for ourselves.
the good people win all, always. It could be earlier, could be later, but they win always. Elected in November, Bush will now be the first black woman to represent Missouri in Congress. The revolution is here! Let's go!